Hello guys, I'm Stelfiro, with my very first tutorial which is how to create those energy rings you've seen in the intro. Let's start with opening up Windows Movie Maker. These energy rings are made using fractals plus After Effects original effects slapped on top of it. No external plugins are necessary to create these rings. Time to create a new project. Create a new square composition. Let's name this fractal com and make sure its width is the same as its height. Com size between 1000 to 2000 pixels is best. Create a new black layer named fractal, then hit OK. And then we slap the fractal noise effect to that layer. Nice. We got ourselves a square fractal. Now let's set the fractal type to dynamic progressive and invert that shit. Don't forget to set the blending mode from normal to none. This is important. After that, create a new mask on the layer with Ctrl Shift N and reduce the mask to a bar that must not be in the layer center. This is so that it can be bent into a ring around the center. Now pre-compose that shit. Make sure to check the move all attributes into the new composition option. Name this the fractal bar. After that, on the newly created Bricom, apply the polar bear coordinates. Set it from rect to polar, and then drag the interpolation all the way to 100%. Congratulations, we just made a fractal donut, but now you can see where we will go with this. But wait a second, do you see that ugly ass seam? That is where both ends of the fractal bar meets. Let's fix this by getting inside the Procom. This fixing technique is thanks to Andrew Kramer of Video Copilot on one of his tutorials. Oh shit I forgot to feather out the mask. Let's give it around 50 pixels. Let's create a new adjustment layer by hitting Ctrl Shift Y. On this adjustment layer, we are going to slap the offset effect to it. Now let's shift the center to exactly 2000. This will expose both ends of the bar as that seam. We basically need to smooth in out this seam inside this precom. Now create a mask on the adjustment layer, not the fractal layer. Reshape the mask, so that it looks like this, encasing around the seam. Now the magic is going to happen. To make the offset apply on both ends of the bar, set the mask to subtract. You will see two seams now, but don't worry, now you can feather the shit out of them into oblivion. Now let's see what the end result looks like on the main fractal composition. Wow! Look at that, we just blended both ends seamlessly. Wonderful. Now we have a few more steps remaining. Slap the CC radial fast blur effect to the layer. Set the zoom to brightest, and crank up the amount to a very high number, but not 100 as the light rays will stretch out of the composition like this. So I'll give it 94 instead. Our task now is to make this shining ring turn inside out, so let's put another polar coordinates fx, set polar to rect, and crank the amount to exactly 100. Now we get a nice light ray curtain. Rotate the whole layer 180 degrees. And now, for the finishing move, I would apply the final polar coordinate fx, but I don't want to nest too much compositions. Instead, I'm gonna put it on an adjustment layer above. Let's put the final polar coordinates fx, set from rect to polar, and crank the amount to 100. Congratulations, we just made ourselves a homemade energy ring. But there's one problem, the ring does not animate. Scrubbing through the timeline show that this ring is fucking dead. To animate the ring, simply get inside the fractal bar com, hold alt and then click on the evolution stopwatch. Enter the expression time times 200. This means that the value of the evolution is equals to the composition time in seconds, times 200. If you want the animation to go faster or slower just simply alter the multiplication value to higher or lower respectively. Now, after animating the ring, let's put some dank colors on it. One important note, although the rings you see here are colored with a free plugin called Color Vibrance, it's purely optional, as you can use After Effects HueSat, Tritone, or Curves Adjustment whichever you prefer. Let's start by precompose the two layers, and then apply the HueSat on the new precom. Turn on colorize, and then max out the saturation. There we go, we got a nice bright color. 
One problem with this is that the colors are uniform. So let's try turning the effect off and slap a curves effect instead. And then play around with the color curves. To achieve a nice gold color for example, you can use the curves to give it a yellow color on the ring's height lights and a slightly orange color on the dark shades, giving it a more vibrant look. But doing this takes a shit ton of time just to get one color. So, to save editing time while achieving the most satisfying colors is to use the Color Vibrance plugin. This plugin is free and the link to the download website is in this video's description. Now let's apply it to the com and switch to the orange color. There we go, we just colored this ring a very fiery orange. One thing you can do to make the ring's rays extend more into the center is to increase the radial fast blurs amount, but always remember, not all the way up too much as the rays will clip. So I'll give it the number 96 instead. And also, back to the color vibrance plugin, don't forget to check fill empty background and switch on the matte alpha. So that's it, we now have our completely working energy ring. You can also adjust the thickness of the rings by first going into the fractal bar com, and then reduce the height of the mask. Let's see what the result looks like. Nice. And some of you may have noticed that the energy ring in this video's intro fades away. This was not made by keyframing the opacity to zero. That is not how to properly fade out an energy ring like a professional MLG editor. Here's how I do it. First go to the fractal bar com, then select the fractal bar. Click on the brightness stopwatch and keyframe it to minus 100 on something around the first second of the com. As you can see this fades out the ring by reducing the fractal's brightness down to nothing. The end result of animating its scale as well will look something like this. So that wraps up my first After Effects tutorial. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and maybe get to learn new techniques that will help you in other projects. All the optional plugins that I used in this video are all free and from Video Copilot with their links in the description below. Although the color vibrance is more preferred to be used with the energy rings. We really appreciate your support as I'm planning to make more tutorials in the future as an end to this video. Here's a showcase of these energy rings on my previous videos. This is Stalfiro. Thanks for watching and see you next time.